The wave fill lets you contour fill stitches along a digitized line. The stitches maintain uniform density and needle penetrations. Wave fill can be applied to step, fancy, black work, candle wicking, lace work, and pattern fills. Let's first select the object and change it into a lace work by clicking on the lace work icon. To add the wave fill, you simply click on the wave fill icon in the effects part of the stitch toolbar and the wave is applied automatically to this object. If you have the effects dialog box open, you can go to the star and wave fill and place a check mark in the wave fill and that will also apply the effect. To edit the wave, click on reshape and that shows you the digitized line that the wave is following. I can make changes by adding, moving, changing a point, or deleting a reshape point. To add a point, I either left click or right click on the line. If I want to move this point, I can click and drag and move the point. Now you can see that the software did not like that change, so it reverted back to the original digitized line. So the software is going to let you know if a change you make will not work. So I'll instead right click and then to move that point, I'll just click and drag and you can see that the change automatically updates. If I click on a line and move it and then decide I don't like this square, I want to make that left click into a right click. All I have to do is select that point and press the space bar. Pressing the space bar will change a digitized point. And then you can move that point as well. If I wish to delete a point, again, I select it by clicking on it and then press delete on my keyboard. Once you're pleased with the shape of the wave fill, press escape. If I decide I want to remove the wave fill, I can either select the object and uncheck wave fill in the effects dialog box or click on the wave fill icon in the stitch toolbar and that will remove the wave.